you know, the Dodgers invited this group, which I think can only be described as an anti-Catholic hate group, invited them to be honored at, uh, at the Dodger Stadium. Then when there was a howl of protest from Catholics and others, they disinvited them, good move, but then they re-invited them. And the re-invitation was accompanied by a kind of pathetic apology where they were praised for all the great work that they do. Now look, I'm not gonna go into all the details. Look them up on YouTube or something, you'd find what they do. I'll give you one example. I think it was on Easter Sunday, uh, there was a display where they have Jesus on the cross, so the most sacred moment in history for Catholics. And a, a drag queen comes in and kind of pulls Jesus off the cross, then does a sort of uh, pole dance on the cross. For Catholics, it's hard to imagine anything more offensive than that. Suppose this group had dressed up in a kind of simulacrum of a rabbi and had done something deeply disrespectful to the Torah, or take it a step further, had dressed up in a you know, mockery of a, of a Muslim cleric or imam, and then had desecrated the Quran. What would the reaction be? You know, those questions answer themselves, but somehow attacking Catholics in this most uh, uh, disgraceful way is okay. Not only okay, it should be honored. You know, everybody, I've said this before, but there's a long tradition in our country of anti-Catholicism. It was said famously, oh, about a century ago, the last acceptable prejudice in America is anti-Catholicism. But we shouldn't tolerate it. Boycott the Dodgers. So let's pray, everybody. Let's pray for the defense of our faith, and let's stand for the Catholic faith.